Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the triggering symmetrically through a unilateral device. So, already in the last video, I have explained about the triggering methods. There are two types of triggering methods available. One is unsymmetrical triggering. Unsymmetrical triggering and second one is symmetrical triggering. These are the two methods available for making the bistable multivibrator to change the state from one state to another state. That is called triggering. So, unsymmetrical triggering and symmetrical triggering. What do you mean by unsymmetrical triggering? In unsymmetrical triggering, actually there are two triggering pulses needed to change the states of both the transistors. Okay. So, two triggering pulses we need. If both the triggering pulses are generated from the same source, then that type of triggering is symmetrical triggering. This is what we are going to discuss now. Okay. Symmetrical triggering is the case where both the triggering pulses are generated from a single source whereas in unsymmetrical triggering the two triggering pulses are generated from a different source so it is from different sources and it is from same source same source okay so that is called symmetrical triggering if i will write here if both triggering pulses are generated by a common or single source. It is called symmetrical triggering. It is called symmetrical triggering. This is what symmetrical triggering. Now, in the symmetrical triggering, what we are using additionally, we are using a unilateral device. Unilateral device is nothing but your diode. Unilateral device is nothing but a diode, uni, single. So, single junction, it is nothing but unilateral device. So, what is the purpose of diode? What type of triggering pulse we need? Triggering pulse is nothing but a negative going signal. Triggering pulse is a negative going signal. Triggering pulse is a negative going signal so negative going signal means this is the signal see this is what the negative going signal it is having more positive peak more positive width and a very less negative width pulses are always in that such a, such a way that um, suppose if you are taking it is a negative going triggering pulse then pulse width of that negative going signal is very very low whereas uh, positive signal is very high nothing but see here this is the triggering pulse see the pulse width of this negative cycle negative cycle is very low and positive cycle is very high okay now whenever this type of signal is taken as a triggering pulse and after uh, what is that uh, converting it into very small time intervals like uh, uh, triggering pulses passing through a high pass RC circuit which is used to convert a rectangular waveform or a triangle or any square waveform into a spikes. Okay, this is the signal. Okay, but it is also having some positive peaks due to the positive peak in the input signal. So, to eliminate the positive peak because the negative peak is responsible for changing the state of the transistor. Positive peak is not at all necessary. So, definitely we should pass this signal through a unilateral device and this filter rectifies the positive peak and gives only 
negative peaks which are essential for the operation of your circuit okay so in order to you eliminate the amount of positive peak in the signal a diode or a unilateral device has to be used okay that is the main purpose of the unilateral device in the triggering circuits now as i told you there are two different places that we can apply a triggering pulse one is at the collectors and the one is at the bases so now this diagram shows the application of triggering pulse at the collector location see this is the first transistor collector c1 and this is the second transistor collector c2 see here additionally along with the resistors r1 r2 r3 r4 of course r3 r4 same and r1 r2 are also same we can equate like this r1 is equal to r2 r3 is equal to r4 and along with these resistors the circuit also shows the commutating capacitors c1 and c2 are nothing but commutating capacitors or we can also call it as speed up capacitors or transpose capacitors so c1 comma c2 are commutating capacitors or we can say speed up capacitors or transpose capacitors transpose capacitors so these are the, the so that is the entire circuit is shown here what is the purpose of uh, commutating capacitors we know already see at the input of this emitter to base junction base to emitter junction of either transistors is having some input capacitance that capacitance will give you an uncompensated circuit so to avoid that compensation uncompensation that means to provide a compensatory circuit we are using capacitors here which are parallel to the resistors r1 and r2 now as long as the circuit operates normally when well, suppose assume a condition like a q1 is in off state and q2 is in on state and as it is a bistable multivibrator this particular state is stable until we provide a triggering pulse so in order to provide a triggering pulse we are taking a triggering circuit generator t that is applied through a capacitor and then given to the diode see here diode is connected in the reverse direction from the source point of view see here is the place where we are giving both the positive peaks and as well as negative peaks okay this is the signal appeared at the input of these diodes now when this signal is going through this diode the collector will be having a potential of only negative peaks because the diode is responding only for the negative peaks the positive peak is eliminated during positive peak diode is open circuited so output is zero okay so this signal is applied at the collector c1 the signal as it is a negative going signal this negative going signal directly applied at the input of this transistor which is in saturation region here i am applying now okay collector 1 and base 2 these two are coupled together okay so this negative going signal of course some drop may be there across this resistor but of this voltage will be uh, or is this attenuated to some level but the voltage is sufficient to bring down uh, the transistor from the saturation actually it is in saturation it is in cutoff region so as this transistor is in saturation to make this uh, transistor saturation to cut off we are giving a negative supply so that this base to emitter junction is now reconfigured so that the transistor moves slowly towards the active region and then going towards the cutoff region okay when this transistor goes to cutoff region the voltage available at the collector 2 it, it will go increase previously it is very low in fact it is vc is at like 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 volts when this voltage rises up because of making the transistor off then slowly the voltage applies towards the base of this transistor q1 now q1 slowly comes into saturation region as long as the transistor q1 q2 goes into off the transistor q1 comes into on so that the change cases are altered and similarly this particular state let it be on and this is off so this particular state is stable again 
again we are giving the same potential at this d2 d2 will be passing the negative peaks only here so these negative peaks applied from the collector 2 to base of this transistor q1 so that the transistor as it is in on now again because of this application of negative peak at the input the transistor comes down towards cutoff so in this way the states of the transistors which are stable actually will, will be disturbed towards the unstable conditions like the by the application of triggering pulse at the collectors the same can also be achieved by applying the signal at the bases that means here and here okay see this is the circuit diagram for the symmetrical triggering at base of the transistors see the same circuit we are not changing anything we have just removed the diodes which are connected here in the previous case now it is bring down bringing down to the base from base to this junction and again from the base of this transistor to the junction we are using two diodes and whenever the input signal is coming from the capacitors again the same situation will occur here whatever i have explained in the previous case okay if suppose if any positive voltage is coming of course positive voltage will be filtered off here only but if any positive voltage is coming that will be grounded towards this d3 that is the main purpose of d3 additionally we are using actually like we are using like a t junction one diode it is another diode and it is another diode so these three diodes these two diodes are used to pass the negative peaks towards the transistors and this triode purpose is to eliminate the positive peak to the ground okay so in this way the symmetrical triggering is working like at collectors and as well as at the bases